Hi, this is um, Bob Show, coming to you with, with another tip. And recently, there's been a discussion, you know, re regarding beliefs and values, you know, you know, like my value is better than your value, my belief is better than your belief. And you, you wanna know something? You know, and I've seen these people just argue, just freaking back and forth, getting nowhere. What typically happens when you challenge somebody, whether it's in religion or politics or anything else, you know, my country, this, that, you know, my state, my city, you know, whatever it is, people are going to be even more set in the way they believe and what they value than ever before. The more argument, the more em emotional laden it is, the more they're gonna be set in their ways. And that will get us nowhere. And you know, I've been guilty of that. I've been guilty of, you know, getting into stupid arguments. People will always have those kind of things. Our values and, and our beliefs lead us to the actions that, that, that we do, to the behavior that we have. And that includes the arguments regarding values and be beliefs. You know, basically, arguing, like I said, gets you nowhere, but uh, the art of questioning is very powerful. What you want to do is discover through questioning why a person values what he values, why a person believes the way they b believe. You know, um, that is the truest way, you know, the field of therapy and psychology. When they don't put, like, you know, their own values and beliefs into the therapy itself, they, they question and they can lead the person to where they want to go. And I suggest every one of you, regarding values and beliefs of another person, question to see if their values and beliefs has gotten to where they want. And when you do that, they start questioning their own selves. You will never, ever, ever, ever convince them based on your values and beliefs. I don't care what they are. It's not gonna change anybody. You can pound and pound and pound and pound and pound. It ain't gonna get anywhere. Change it through questioning. Change it through listening. Change it through caring. It's the only way to get, get them to where they're at, to where they wanna go. Otherwise, you can take them out of the environment and put them in another environment that has the same kind of values and beliefs because environment affects it too. So, this is Bob Choke coming to you with the uh, little heated kind of thing today, a little heated tip, but just letting you guys know the real deal. Bob Schultz signing off. Hoorah!